I'm going to tie a variant of my six mile pearl. Fred is red. <coughs> Just wind it right down. Right there. And then I'm going to add in red tippet for my tail. Came up as we fly quite a few years ago now and very 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 successful fly. There's plenty of rivers that I know a few people's using it and it seems to be working very well. So I thought I would just change it up and do a different wee style of it. And I look forward to trying this one out myself. That's basically the, the tag done there. I'll just nip this wee bit off and I'll head it off a wee bit of UV. And that with that wee part finished. Yeah, so the first part of the body is a uh, pearl. Just tie it in here. say I'll not do this now because I like to try and not make the videos as long but whenever this is finished I'll, I'll lacquer the whole fly so well it stops the fish pulling it the bits the body now finished. Yeah so I'm going to add in the throat here now and it's a uh, kingfisher blue.
just to finish it off, I'm going to add a wee bit of guinea fern, natural guinea fern. Basically, the, the undercarriage done of the fly, just now the wing to do. <clears throat> yeah, so the first part of the wing is uh, red tippet. As I said earlier on, that, that um, I've been fishing this fly a good few years now, and it's been very, very successful for Dalton. Can't see no reason why it wouldn't be good for sea trout either. So I would hope you should maybe give it a wee go, try it out for yourselves. <coughs> um, the final wing is black squirrel. this head just had it with a wee bit of UV well basically that's it fly finished and um, I hope you enjoyed and I wish you all tight lines for 2019 maybe half hitch Thank you for watching.